Coming down the ramp, it's an explosion of dice into the arena. One big bounce and they've gone in all directions here. And oh, that is a big hit. Starter gives the signal and we're off to the races. They swing around the bottom and decimate three stacks. We have Shade still spinning, hasn't come to a stop just yet. It is not a popular decision, but it will stand. They're having a real go at it here, no one wants to lose this one. Hello and welcome to the Pro Dice Tour, brought to you by the Dice Sports Network. And thank you for joining us today as we take our first look at the teams who will be competing in the inaugural season. It's a glorious day here at Jusawi Stadium and we have a good crowd in. They're excited to see what these teams can bring in the final open practice session before the official events begin. Twelve teams have qualified for this competition, so without further ado, let's take a look at the teams and the lineups who will be competing in the first season. First up, it is the Halloweeners. Hailing from the West, we heard that they flew in yesterday evening for some last minute preparations. Taking a look at the roster, we have Freya, who never backs down from a fight. Zelda, soft spoken but carries a large broomstick. Glinda, bringing a little black magic to the competition. And Sabrina, the rookie, the youngest member of the team. The Halloweeners are captained by Wanda, who we hear is quite superstitious, carries a pumpkin with the team at all times. The Halloweeners are brewing up something special and they'll be hoping to trick the competition and treat themselves to some victories in the Pro Dice Tour. Next up we have the Brown Bears, a team of fierce competitors who are not to be trifled with. Taking a look at the lineup we have Yogi who is smoother than the average dice, Smokey who also doubles as the team safety officer, Teddy, a gentle giant who's really just a cub on the inside, and Gummy, adding a sweet touch to a team that can be a little grisly at times. And the captain for the Brown Bears is Fuzzy, soft on the outside but does his best to bear with the rest of the team. The Brown Bears, pictured here on a walk through the wilderness, will be looking to stake out their territory in this competition. Our next team is the D20s, an intrepid band of adventurers who have come together for the Pro Dice Tour. With Rogue, known for a highly aggressive playstyle, Crit, who's always looking to do a little more damage, Mage, adding a magic touch to the team, and Questa, who's more of a soloist than a team player. The D20s are led by DM, who I can imagine has her hands full just keeping the rest of the party in line at times. The D20s do enjoy a board game or two during their time off, but they are equipped and ready to kick off their campaign towards victory. Moving on, it's the Outer Spaces, a late entry into the competition. The Outer Spaces hail from, well, we're not quite sure to be honest, but we have been told that they do come in peace. The team is represented by Marvin and Marsha, the twins who are always scheming up something new. Probe, known for enthusiasm but sometimes end up in positions he shouldn't be, and Kip, the second in command. The captain for the Outer Spaces is Zorg, who we've been informed is a kind and benevolent leader, although we're not quite sure if he wrote that bit himself. Pictured here, cruising somewhere near their home planet, the Outer Spaces will be looking to have a Pro Dice tour that is truly out of this world. Next up we have the Psychedelics, a team who are all about keeping it mellow and having a good time. On the roster we have Vibe, who likes to go with the flow. Lucy can sometimes have her head in the clouds. Chill, a very cool customer even under pressure. And Mary Jane, the fan favorite with widespread appeal. And the Psychedelics are captained by Buzz, who adopts a laid-back style of leadership and keeps a relaxed atmosphere within the team. The Psychedelics may lack the competitive pedigree of some of the teams in this competition, but we know they'll be looking to get as high as possible in the final standings. Our next team is the Straight Shooters, a regimented unit who are big on discipline and teamwork. Enlisted in the team we have Bullseye, an accuracy event specialist, Gunner never hesitates to pull the trigger, Scout, the most adventurous member of the team, and Justice, who's known for sportsmanship and fair play. The straight shooters are captained by Sarge, a dice sports veteran with a long list of honors to his name. As we take a look at the straight shooters involved in some outdoor training, we know that they are ready for combat. We just may need to have that bleeper ready during team interviews. Next up we have a truly delightful team, the Sweethearts, who are very popular with fans and the other competitors. Looking at the lineup we have Cutie, don't be deceived by the cute exterior, Blossom, who packs a punch but is very nice about it, Cupid, recruited as a shooting specialist, and Cherish, the most valuable member of the team. 
The captain for the Sweethearts is Sweetie, who has a big heart both on and off the field. The Sweethearts are always looking to help their local community, pictured here offering some volunteer coaching to a group of youngsters. And they'll be hoping that Nice Dice don't finish last when it comes to the Pro Dice Tour. The next team is the Grim Reapers, who are not to be messed with. Dark and dangerous are the terms usually used to describe this team. Looking at the roster, we have Slash, a heavy metal fan who loves the big stage. Shade, more of a quiet achiever who tends to avoid the limelight. And Doom and Gloom, the brother and sister duo of mayhem who enjoy punk rock and can be a little moody at times. The Grim Reapers are captained by Slay, who ironically is known for bringing a little humor to the team to keep things from getting too grim. As we take a look at the Grim Reapers on their daily commute across the River Styx, you can be sure they'll be plotting the demise of their competition. Moving down the list, we have Team Perfection, a highly curious team, very agile, but prone to getting distracted on the field. On the roster, we have Pitter and Patter, known for exceptional balance and landing right side up. Meow, who always has something to chime in with. Pounce, good at surprising the competition when they least expect it. And the captain, Purr, doing his best to break up any catfights within the team and keep everyone happy. Team Perfection do enjoy relaxing on their favorite chair, but they'll be looking to scratch and claw their way to victory, as long as it doesn't interfere with their Sunday afternoon nap. Next up, it's the High Rollers. Coming from high society, this team is no stranger to competing for the highest stakes. On the team, we have Joker, who's a real wildcard, you never know what to expect with him. Lady Luck, bringing some good fortune to the team. Snake Eyes, a specialist in low roll events, and Small B who has always lived in the shadow of his older brother and team captain, Big B, who only seems to grow in size and stature as the competition progresses. The High Rollers have a long history on the felt, and they'll be hoping to hit the jackpot and win big in the Pro Dice Tour. Our next team is the Night Rangers, who may look like an ordinary team by day, but that all changes when the lights go down. In the lineup for the Night Rangers, we have Glow, the brightest spark in the team, Shine, known for employing some unusual strategies. Nocti, a real night owl who likes to train after dark. And Glimmer, who brings a ray of hope to her team's chances. The captain for the Night Rangers is Lumi, the guiding light for the team who's hoping to lead them to victory. With a strong mix of talent and some bright sparks, the Night Rangers will be looking to light up the stadium here at the Pro Dice Tour. And our final entry is Team Fantastic, the heavyweights of the competition who've been roaming around for many years. Looking at the lineup, we have Jumbo, you won't find any dice bigger than him. Ellie, bringing a positive attitude and team spirit. Cashin, the oldest member of Team Fantastic who has a long history with the team. And Horton, who's always looking out for his teammates. Team Fantastic is captained by Nelly, the matriarch of the herd and a diligent leader. Pictured here relaxing on the savannah during the off-season, Team Fantastic will be hoping to throw their weight around in the Pro Dice Tour. So there you have it. 12 teams have entered this competition, but of course there can only be one victor in the end. The teams now gathered in front of the stands to interact with fans, sign some autographs. It's all smiles and laughter today, but we're going to see a very different atmosphere when they come back for the official competition. We have a series of events lined up to test the accuracy, strength and endurance of all of these teams and they will need to be in peak condition to have a chance at taking down the ultimate prize. Let us know in the comments below which team you'll be rooting for and join us next time as we kick off the inaugural season of the Pro Dice Tour with event number one. We do hope you've enjoyed this preview of the teams and that about wraps up proceedings for today. So from all of us here at the Dice Sports Network and Chusawi Stadium, we bid you good night.